Okay, so here it is. Here we go. This is the Labyrinth of Legends, and I wanted to make this video about some of my fight. You know, there are some really nightmare fight a lot of times throughout this Legends, and I died many, 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 many times. But I record some of my better fights, and I put them together into this video, so you can really watch some of my technique real closely and learn exactly how maybe is best for you if you want to do this Labyrinth of Legends. Uh, I think I, I you know recommend if you have the right team for it, then maybe you can do it but here's Black Widow she was my biggest nightmare and I'm gonna sing song about it it's like Labyrinth of Lage needs my nightmare is a dream I want to take this widow down and end her life it seems but my nightmare is never stop when Black Widow is on me I just have to pull out my blood and I will make gun me. Labyrinth of Legends, this is my nightmare hell. But when I finish Black Widow, my life that you can tell. Comfort to sleep, my baby ship. So that was little, that was like worst, most nightmare part about the whole uh, Labyrinth. And you know, this is when my life turned to black. And here we go back into Star-Lord. This was probably one of the more easy fights. But this fight just gets so longest that you get really tired. And then you just slip dick one time, rip shit my pants, and it's Gambis over. So Star-Lord, Star-Lord, your Labyrinth legend. It's he's my nightmare, where's BHP, man? I will cut your kneecap now because you did not protect them like you should have. I am blood, ba -ba 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 -ba, and I have very strong kneecap. Rhino is broken, he will just blood, so I will use my Gwen Peel to kill you. Gwen Peel kill this Rhino's man, he has a foreskin on his forehead. He has horn, he has two horn, and they each have a skin around the base. This is Rhino Man, he is weak, he has three toes on feet, and when we make him fall to sleep, it's Rhino Man, it's finished the deal. Good night, Rhinoceros, I will end your life, I am Gwen Peel, and Spear Man will now be sparky, he's kicked his little ra rabbit, rabbit will be kicked in the neck, and this is a little mouse, little mouse, and I'm gonna sing a song, it goes, hey! Now, little mouse, something is on in the back room. Hey, now, little mouse, show me what to do. Hey, now, little mouse, I believe in all these nightmares. Oh, here goes. This was Maestro. So, this is Maestro. He was worst fight. He took a real long time. Actually, no, Black Widow, I think, is actually worst fight. But Maestro took a real long time. So here's a little video of me with my fight with Maestro. You can really see how exactly uh, this fight goes and really learn a lot of technique from what I'm doing here because you can watch so careful how this fight is going. And, you know, we are just... It takes a real long time for to get this man to lose his health. So we all sing a song about it. And it so goes something like... Maestro man, he is danger, he has very spooky eyes, he will look into your soul and he will squeeze you in the thighs. Maestro man, his thumb is big, and you know what else is big? That's right, his big toe is too large, so he has to have custom shoes made to fit his whole foot inside. Maestro, he will never die, but you know he will if you have a ba 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 ba, -ba blood. Maestro, it is time for sleep. I never want to smell your feet, but you kick my ass and you shove your foot way in my hole and I can't breathe. This is my nightmare, this is my song. Maestro looks like giant bong man. Look at all the smoke come from his head. He is so mad, he will be dead. Maestro can, yes, Maestro can wear his kneecap anywhere. He has a protection on his kneecap. He will kneecap a Bishby man, he will take three jambes and shove them into all your ears and wake you up in your nightmare. It's time to rise and you will cry from both your eyes when you fight Maestro. He's evil man, he always had some secret plan. He has all these fancy weapons and that is why he ruined your dreams. He will make you cry, he will make you fear, he will make you shit out out of your eyes, but use your Gwen pill and make this man fall asleep for 
the rest of time here is maestro we're gonna finish him and we will complete the labyrinth of legends of legends of legends so that's it that's how we finish it that's the beyond all the hope is the labyrinth of legendist and that last maestro, I will tell you that 1% was the straw that Brahau Uek, the Kamehels back. But we got all of this catalyst, and we got this T2 Alpha, and we got uh, Ronin Dupe for the sixth time. And so it's real good now. We have all the, these catalysts, and uh, we'll get this 5 star Ultron, which is a you know, real nice trough to have. I'll probably take him to ranking the three, but I don't think I would probably ever never use Jambis on him. I'll probably use if I get a tech Jambis, I'll use it on Bishman. But uh this Waken, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's nice, we got all these stoners. But if I am gonna get this Waken, I'll take snapshot that. If I'm gonna use this Waken, I'm gonna use this uh Waken Jambis. Maybe on Sabertooth if we can to dupe him. If he's not to dupe it, then maybe we will use it on his in the hole. But uh, here we go. We're gonna maybe we're gonna get some kind pop them off this crystal and we're gonna see what kind of stoners we can acquire. And we're just you know spin them up, pop them off, see how many. This is nice, you know. Get hundred of these. Like what kind? When in kind of a day can you just take hundred of these stoners and pop them off in in just with this quickly button, and see exactly how much your champions will grow from get all these stonies. And you know I'm really want to collect lots of these stonies and push my five star champs to their maximum signature level. And now we're gonna use some of these stars and we're gonna shove them into holes of the our champs. And this is nice, you know, we got that's a nice little hunk. This will give us nice little prestige hunk, push smooshing. And then our prestige will be smooshed to higher level. And uh, that's really what we want to do. You know, it's best maybe to keep your uh, integers at these whole numbers because when you have whole numbers, then if you get a dupey. They are not risking like wasting these stoners, so probably better to just put it to a number where some dupes can get you to something that is good. But you know, heck, you know, who cares? We'll just shove him into this man. He's still pretty far, so definitely when you get closer to max seeker level, then you want to kind of use your dupes to get it. So it's just going to be like one more dupe will maximus. Uh, so. That's it. So we're ranking all these. We're getting pushing these stones, and you know, Saberman will he will probably be our next ranking, for ranking the four, and we'll definitely make a really good movie about that, to show all of our friends. But we're saving here, for feature crystal for feature five star crystal is the our next, the your next feature five star crystal. Hopefully it will have Saberman, and we can dupe this man. Oh, this is nice. We got this uh, Ultron. So maybe we will put some isometric into his into his eyes. We will sell this business, and we will collect some of these very specifically for Kimbis, and probably not ranking him too far today. But it would be nice for to just you know push him to twenty five, and then we can use him for arena slave, a little bit. So here we go. We are ranking this man. We are pushing some isometric into his jawline. And he, wow, he is a very sharp man. You would not want to brush his teeth, tooth, or have him brush your tooth with his oh nightmare. So that's it. That's my labyrinth nightmare. I hope you enjoy my nightmare. And if you are gonna have nightmare of your own, you know, definitely subscription my show. I really recommend you know pushing subscription button and for try not have some kind of nightmare in the middle of your slip. And if you're gonna have Jambis for to awaken yourself then best way is to have really useful nightmare. And I want to give you a really special little bit of advice about your nightmare. You know, your nightmare is not daymare. If it's a daymare, then your daymare is happening in real life, and you're going to have to live with consequence. But lots of these nightmare things is just passing in the middle of your sleep, and you have really big scare, and you wake up and you realize that your whole bed is wet from your sh sh shit hole, and you piss your pants, 
and then your nightmare is finished. You just take shower, shower off all your excrements, and then you're clean, and your nightmare is gone. So that's kind of like what Labyrinth of Legends is like, you know, you do all this work, you finish all of these paths, you have constantly nightmare, and then when it is all finished, you have complete this video game, and you have achieved highest level of assessment from all of these terrible, terrible fights for very long, like Black Widow Nightmare, or some other nightmares like Jugger Hell Nightmare was also a nightmare, but thanks for watching my show, and I hope that your subscription for smooshing the subscription button, and, you know, push a like or dislike, whatever how it makes you feel, I will very much like your honest, and thanks for the watch my show. I hope that you have a very nice mare, night, nice day. And for push, smooshing subscription for the my show would be very good for me, healthy to keep my nightmare alive every day for make my nightmare dream.